So now we'll be uh, dealing with uh, the properties of limits and I wrote down eight properties here on the side. The reason why I wrote them out on the side is because we're going to be doing examples and when we'll be doing the examples I'll be referring to the properties. So this list of properties you could also find in your textbook. So let's go through them <coughs> uh, separately. So the first property, the limit as x approaches k where k is a constant, it's just equal to k. The limit as x approaches a of x is just equal to a. The limit as x approaches a of a constant times the function. You could take the constant out, take the limit of the function separately, and then just multiply the constant by that limit. The uh, limit as x approaches a of uh, two functions, either added together or subtracted, you can uh, split up the functions, take the limit of each function separately, and then uh, plus or minus it, depending on what you're, uh, what you're doing in the question. Property five, limit as x approaches a of uh, two functions multiplied together. Again, you could just split up the, uh, the functions, take their uh, respective limits individually, and then just multiply your results. The sixth property, the limit as x approaches a of uh, f of x divided by g of x. Take each limit separately and then just divide your results. The limit as x approaches a of f of x to the power of n. Um, you would just take the limit of the function uh, separately and then whatever your result is, take it to the power of n. The limit as x approaches a of the square root of a function Take the limit of the function for take the limit of the function first, and then square root your result, and uh, you'll get the same uh, you'll get the same thing.